Welcome to Castle Rock, Washington, home of the only race coordinators crazy enough to let us in our modified power wheels on a real racetrack. We did this event in 2019, but this time it wasn't just us and our close friends racing. Meet Billy in his 500cc full suspension Hackalack. And John came from Oregon with his 700cc Bronco. This weekend, we've got Lando Norris driving Cinderella, Crystal driving the Porsche, Moto Mule in the Gravedigger, of course, and Hessek Moto in the Rover. Was it? You had your first ride Freaking yesterday, crazy, and dude. then you're already racing it. Yeah, that was crazy, man. <laughs> I just wish we could have had a little less traffic because that was <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. I had no idea there was gonna be that many. People yeah, there were so there. many people out there. Did you lap the field? Uh, pretty much, but then I spun out. Oh, because I, I kind of wanted to find the limit. <laughs> I wanted to it? know where it was, and it just, you know, I started drifting. There's a fine line between just cornering and drifting, and then once you start the drift. Because this wheelbase is wider than it is long, the room for correction is very narrow. So oh, I just I spun around. That. What do you guys think? Have you gone that fast before on your power um, wheels? You know, it's just, it's cool on the on the straight, but that corner is what, I'm used to it going into a slide in a corner. And it, there's so much traction out there that it, it, it wants more uh, acceleration. So when you hit that and it starts to slide, you feel like you got a little bit more control. Oh. How'd the Bronco do? Oh, the Bronco did great. I tried fourth gear for the first time, so. Uh, nice. So this is the fastest you've ever gone. It's the fastest I've ever gone. Yeah, for sure. But it was On a, a blast. field with like a trike and like a, a two horsepower go kart and that yeah, was... a lot of traffic, but it was yeah. fun. It's cool because you got to blow by probably like everyone basically. Yeah, I tried, but then I got uh, I got lapped by the master. So oh, that was awesome. yeah. Well, you passed everything else. Yeah. <laughs>
Najib wins. Last second pass, last corner, took the cake. Yes. I don't think the crowd's gone that wild for any of the bikes. Definitely not. <laughs> you see, William got him on the last corner right before the it's finish like line. Up. He just really wants just be like, you know what? No, enough games. We're taking this home now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ethan got second, I think, in his heat. Yeah. But Barbie but Jeep got first. The yeah, that's like, true too. The most wild the crowd has gotten all night so far. That's William's second day driving the Barbie Jeep. And he takes over from the last corner, right before the finish line. Gets a little bit wide on the exit, but still takes the cake. That was so sick. I'm so proud of him. I gotta wait till this race is over to get off the track, but hell yeah, dude. Dude, that was so sick. I did that corner and it fit. Oh, you got stuck? I got stuck in it, so I just had to send it through the corner. My headway went from really bad one way to really bad in a completely different way. It looked like you couldn't steer at all. You know, it was understeering like crazy, so I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to throw the knobbies on the rear. Crystal launched so hard yeah, off the line. She got me off the line, but then she did wheelie hops. And yeah. I just, yeah. That was epic watching you two, though. That was fun. <laughs> that was oh, so dude, cool. Crystal's car is bouncing like a foot off the ground and like landing but sideways. But she's still back. holding it down, though. And it takes the corners so much better than mine. So scary. So scary to watch, dude. And like, I was watching you guys from far. And I was like, is she going to go? Is she going to go? And then I was like, I think she did. Because <laughs> I couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got me. Next uh, Baja 1000 will oh, be yeah, racing yeah. the Barbie Jeep. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> I told you you look like Lando. I mean, that's... Yeah, man, that's all I needed. I just needed you to say that. <laughs> My shifter broke, so I was stuck in second gear. So I was just at rev limit, 10,000. Well, I don't think there is. I don't know if we set a rev limit. So I was over 10,000 RPM, 10,500 at least. 
the whole time. Around the corners, I got down to like maybe 9,500, and then just <laughs> it was actually better racing that way. It, it handled better. Um, because I just I, I hadn't seen anything like it because normally it's like pop a flame. Yeah. This was one consistent bright Rocket blue. Yeah. It was blue. That's amazing. Torch. I have it on video for proof. You got a better start this time. Uh, you know what? I was like, I'm getting at least one whole shot, one corner in first, and that's. <laughs> you, you got a good start. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, I was determined to get there. So yeah, I was happy with that. Nice. That was amazing. Race weekend was so much fun and I got to give a huge shout out to Billy and his crew who drove all the way from Kansas. It was like 26 hours they drove just to do this race and then they had to drive home and work the next day. It was crazy. Mad shout out to those guys. Billy's the one driving the Hackalack, that blue Cadillac. It's a Predator 500, so the same engine that we have in the Camaro actually. So everyone's Instagram and stuff is down below. Definitely check it out if you wanna see more of what they do. Thanks to Will for coming last second, rallying the Barbie Jeep with us, taking second place, his second day driving. That was awesome. He's gonna be in more videos in the future. Thanks to John from Oregon. His Instagram's down there. He had the Bronco, of course, Moto Mule and Hessek Moto, like, Everyone came out totally shredded. Crystal dominated everybody. She was driving like a champ all night. <laughs> it was so much fun. And I can't wait to do this again. Hopefully we get to do stuff like this more. And our friend Sean took the thumbnail and a bunch of like hundreds of good photos from this event. So definitely check out his Instagram. That's below too, if you wanna see a bunch of really cool stuff that he makes and a bunch of really cool photos that he takes. It's below.